Brandon Barlow, which uh, we got Mercedes Monica right here. We're going to have them explain to us how they think we'll make a relationship work. They'll give us their own opinions, give some advice to everybody to try to help them out. All right, my name is Mercedes. This is Mrs. Monica. And uh, honestly, what I want to tell you, what makes it a relationship is honesty. And everyone always focuses on honesty, you know, truthfulness and honesty. It's more than that. It's more, than, it's more, it's more or less being true to yourself. When you are true to yourself, then you're true to others, and people can accept you for who you really are. If you don't put that on the table, put everything on the table, all the cards on the table, expect what you're looking for in a relationship, what you want out of a relationship, and then that's what you get in a relationship. When you go in a relationship being deceptive and deceiving, then that's what you get back. Good afternoon, blokes. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Immaculate's Daily Advice. I'm your host, Mr. Immaculate. Today, we're going to talk about perspective. All right, let's say I tell you to go into the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Now, you might make a sandwich that's delectable to your taste buds, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be delectable to mine. And that's what perspective is, isn't it? It's two different interpretations of one word. So when you hear a woman say she wants a good man, you assume that your definition of good is the same as her definition of good, but it's not so, mate. So let's say you've got a girl that you, that you love, you've got a crush on, just a dire yearning for. You'd punch a baby seal in the face just for a chance to talk to this girl, but she's a bit out of your range. You'd like to get some things together for yourself first. But then you hear she's worth a bloke. And it makes you a little insecure about, you know, what kind of blood must it take to get next to a girl like that? So you start inventing this, this mystery man in your head. You figure, fuck all, he must be seven feet tall with a smile like sunshine. Probably knows Barack Obama personally. He's got his, his number and his phone under Barack the Bells, you know. You invent this guy, but then you see them out together and he's LeBron Lames. He's nothing that you thought he might be. Nothing. Why? Because she's got a different definition of good than you. She's with the kind of guy that goes and plays a game of pickup basketball with a Bluetooth device in his ear. You know, he keeps his wallet in his front pocket. You know, this bloke. You know, he's the guy that's cashing his check and then sprinkling 20s on his bed and taking pictures and posting it on Facebook. It's a different interpretation. It's all perspective. Can I ask a question? Sure. What makes, in your opinion, what do you think would be good to find characteristics for someone, man or woman, yeah. that you actually consider having a relationship with? A good characteristic? My oh, brother, that's kind of hard to say because the appealing characteristics is much better. Mm -hmm. You cannot change a person. You accept the person for who they really are. And if she has something that you want out of her, don't try to bend her to being something that you're looking for in another woman. If she ha if you have something that she wants out of you, then she needs to accept you for who you are. Don't go in there with false dreams, deceptive attitudes, and saying, maybe I promise you I'm going to be a doctor in the future. I'm going to get a good job. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to make sure you get your hair done, your nails done, your toes done. Don't do that. Just say, look, this is where I am. This is where I'm going. This is what I have right now. If we're to stand together, we both can put something together. We both can have something together. Don't lie anymore. Tell the truth.